I can't get down. All right, everyone, we are back with a cat stuck in a tree, it seems. Help! Meow! Meow! We can just ignore that. All righty, let's get going, guys, on our solo Let's Play. No! That NPC is really loud. It looks like... I'll, sh I'll show you loud. <laughs> no, 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 please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, speaking of kitties, wait, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a vine cat. Yeah. I'm also wearing my cold weather gear. Yep, don't you worry. definitely. <laughs> no, don't you know? It's episode 100. It's the beach episode. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's what, you know what I'm going to call it that now? Just because of that, I'm going to call it the beach episode. <laughs> You know I actually do have an epi uh, something planned for y'all for uh, your oh, 100th session. I do, I do. I have specifically been marking them down. I'm scared. You should be. Look, see, we're at we're at the beach now. See, that's the, that's the ocean, right down here. Armored, we made it. We did it. Oh man, why do we have to do this super annoying uh, mission of uh, taking all the transcriptors instead of just killing pals? I wonder who did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't figure it out. Should be a long... Yeah. This is too early for me to function. I'm like trying to work controls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, definitely, definitely not like uh, one of us was. Uh, who, who shall remain nameless? <clears throat> uh, was definitely not back late, and we're doing this in the morning today. Actually, folks, you're yeah. actually watching this. Yeah, we're we're at today is actually Sunday. Yeah, this is not. Uh... What is it uh, about? Let's see, four hours, about six hours before this would get live. Yeah. So let's all talk about things that happened today. <laughs> well, look, there's a bird outside today. <laughs> yeah, it's also not like I forgot uh, to ask Armored what day would be good for him because I was too busy grinding. Yeah. Uh, this was a busy week anyway for me. All right, what? Yeah, so we just got to return to the bunker. Wait, it didn't count those towels. Nope, you have to do Weird. it by the ice like. It's how it works with the other mission as well. Yeah. Long enough, do you know what the bonus mission is, is if you kill the towels? Sure, no. Destroy the transistors. <laughs> Lovely. So you're going to do it anyways. And then these two should be the last two. Yep, yep. There we go. Yippee! I think we can actually just TP back. I don't know what you're talking about. I wouldn't do that. No? no. Oh, okay, good. Good. Even with my head start, we, we fucking TP'd at the same time. <laughs> Excuse God. me, sir, who are you? What, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Armored. Take a look at the space. I feel like the heating isn't working properly. Hmm. Hey, Sergeant, or what is this? The lieutenant? Should we be having our briefing underneath these giant stalactite icicles? I'm just going to stand right over here. Good to hear from you. We've been receiving the feed from the data arrays, and what we've learned is quite interesting. We had assumed there were one, perhaps two groups of tiles out there. We found six. Had we attacked well. earlier, we would have gotten one group, and the other five would have gone to ground. 
Yeah, good thing we didn't just slaughter the towels. Uh, oh. Have we tracked them? It's time to exterminate them. Commander Trident and I believe we have the answer. The good part okay. Is we know how many towels there are. The bad part is we don't have enough forces to hit all six groups at once. We have devised a plan to put the towels in position for a killing blow. Oh. Their supplies, weapons, medical equipment, and the high calorie food they require, all of it is stored in one central location. That they doesn't adapt it to the cold, but without their supplies, they wouldn't last. That, that doesn't sound like a horrible so plan. Destroy their cash. Go on, I'm listening. We want them to panic and launch an all out last ditch attack on us, and we'll be waiting. If I were them, and suddenly without food, I would raid this base. So we will amplify our defenses here and spring the trap shut. Unfortunately, getting out their supplies may be difficult. They are in a series of ice caves overrun by wampers. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> How did the thought all survive that? Sounds like a pretty unforgiving security system. Wampers can be fooled. A combination of synthetic pheromones and body language could make them think a towels is part of their pack. All the more reason to bring back. I don't think that's how nature works. Much from the towels. The last thing you want to do in a wampa cave is weigh yourself down. No, that's fair. That that is actually a very fair point. <laughs> Between towels and wampas, I'll need both hands free. Then it's settled. Destroy anything of use to them. Let them know who the masters of this miserable world are. No, that is an incredibly fair point. Definitely not just the easier option. Well, you still have to go to the same zones. It's not oh, that much of a difference. Yeah, but I don't want to carry it. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Could you imagine being a two-man, or technically a four-man team? Uh, it's like, okay, uh, now you do that, carry all the supplies back as well. What? Still going to be hostile. Shit. Better hurry, those wampas are right behind you. That's why when people do those operations, they're raid operations, to destroy supplies, not steal them. Yes. And if they are to steal them, it's usually not fucking high-calorie food and cold-weather equipment. And usually whenever you're taking something back, you're not just raiding. That's no longer a raid, that's just an assault. My keybinds are so fucked, I'm hitting the wrong buttons, Armored. <laughs> I have definitely not been religiously playing an MMO for the past week. No, definitely not. But now that I've reached max level, I can actually get back to Conqueror's Blade and other games. Good thing Wampas are an endangered species. Good thing with the Empire and don't care. Yep. Endangered species just means a better hunting target. Yep. Means the furs will sell for more. Exactly, exactly. Never mind the fact that we're using fire. We're just warming them up. Yep, definitely looks like a wampa. Yep, 100%. Oh, they're white and furry. That's racist as hell. They're white and furry. Why wouldn't they be a wampa? You know what, you're right. Just baby wampas. Hey, level up. Nice, 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 nice. Oh shit, I actually just gained a few abilities. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to change my bar for a second. While you do that. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. My bar's wow, still it is, out. Wow, it is early. You didn't even use your stim yet. I did. That's what I did right now. Yeah. I still had a lot of time left on the stim. Health. Oh, well, thank God. Yeah. Because you know when I yeeted myself to the death like five times? Ah, yes. Uh, that as ends. You, the, as you do. Because that ends the stim, so I, uh. I reran it then, which was at the end of the. Seation. There's their ordinance. And their food's up here. Same with their medical equipment. I like how I we only know. destroy. I like how we destroyed one of them, yeah. That never gets old. What doesn't? Just sending some guy flying over the edge oh, yeah. to his death. No, it does not. Uh, we're perf we're perfectly functioning people. Yep, the medical equipment's destroyed, and that's the food. Report to the commander. Back to the Don't forward worry. bunker. Yep. Definitely not like this is going. Definitely not like Hoth story missions are. So many of them. No, definitely not like they're numerous. And this will probably be the end of this area. Definitely, definitely be the end of this area. Yeah, the tolls have been dealt with. What else could they do? Yeah, exactly. No, they'll just go assault the Imperials. I'm sure the infantry can handle it. Exactly. The tolls will come. Home They've covered. They've covered every eventuality. No choice but to strike. We are ready for them. Commander! Commander! There's reports of a Toll's attack. Excellent. What wing are they headed for? No wing, sir. They're at the power station. They're overrunning the guards. They brought bombs. These Tolls have no fear. Even when their army is at its last breath, they want to take us down with them. If they kill the power station, we'll have no heat. We'll have to evacuate, or we won't last past nightfall. Every available gun needs to be saving that station. We can't send everyone. What if they expect that and surprise us here? I'll call for reinforcement from Adamus Orbital. They should be able to land within the hour. Just get to that power station and quickly. So, so let me go ahead and understand this correctly. Y you guys had an enemy that you knew was going... Actually, I think we might just be better off running it from here. Mm. Uh, no, it's still it's still faster to go. Because of yeah. the way, to, way it works. It's just still faster to just do this. Funny enough, it's actually fastest to go to the heroic zone. But I don't want to go there. I don't like the heroic zone. But, uh... To be fair, it's not a bad idea what they did. No, it, it wasn't. It was a sound plan. The problem was... The Taos, oh, look! A the, crippling weakness that... Well, the Taos just decided, we're going to die anyways. We're going to kill you with us. Yes. Instead of being like, we're going to steal supplies so we live. Now, that might mean that they're able to get other supplies and last long enough to get reinforcements or something like that. Or they're just fucking suicidal. See, but I would also make the argument that what they're doing now makes more sense because if the Empire has to evacuate. There's no way they're going to be able to get everything out. What, they have till nightfall? I don't know exactly. Then, then we start getting to get into the semantics of how long is a day on Hoth. Well, it um, also you know, is how do the supplies run, like medical supplies run in the freezing cold or... Yeah. Or the ammunition if they freeze up or food... Yeah. Don't worry, boys. You got them. Yep. Yeah, you got them. It's, it's all you. Because, remember, imagine if a power search goes off, how much electronics would be wiped and destroyed mm. just because of the uh, surge. Because they're not, like, shutting down the power off safely. They brought fucking bombs. <laughs> And that's a vi that's a very violent. That is a. No, very don't worry. I'm one. sure the Empire have surge protectors. Yeah. 
I'm sure that'll that'll solve it. Uh, we might as well not we'll just leave these last few, two of you guys to their fate. Yeah. It's only might right. Might as well make it the, what is it, to quote the great Aku, might as well make it a complete annihilation. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the best lines ever. Just like, ah! Might as well. To be fair, the, the greatest. Uh... There we go. We got the bomb down. I remember when this guy used to be a sniper class. Boy. Yes. They, I remember when they, I think each one of them had Annihilate, which... Still waiting for that ability on the regular sniper, on our sniper. <laughs> Never got that. Gotcha. You, you'd have thought it might be like a changed ability of like the ambush ability for a sniper, but nope. Yeah. So you can get a pretty powerful combo with the sniper. Oh, oh yeah, no. Because like, you... I main snipers for a very long time. Yeah, you can still do a lot of damage. Well, what was it? It was the uh, you'd get the ambush ability off. You get the. Uh... And it auto popped one of your abilities, so you utilized, then you used follow through shots, which auto populated another ability. Then you used a devil shot on the uh, one of the first, there... like the first power shot you get, and then that auto populated that same ability again. Yep. And usually by then the boss is dead, and if not, your ambush is back. Yes. Well, there is also the ability that it's like you activate that, which automatically makes your next shot a critical hit. So you do that for your ambush, which doubles the yeah. damage. And then you also have another ability that refills your follow-through shot automatically. Yep. <laughs> I want to play Sniper now. Yeah, you you chose this class. I know. You could have been a Sniper. Oh, I still like I still like this one because it's just a lot of bombs and mi not missiles. That's you, but... <laughs> I don't even have any missiles. I just have fire. I avoided all the missile abilities, which is why I only have like five abilities on the on my Q bar that are uh, straight offensive. <laughs> I should say yeah. straight straight offensive without any count. Like uh, I have incendiary missile, searing wave, fire burst, flaming fist. I have jet charge, and I have real shot. And the rest are <laughs> AOE abilities. Wonderful. <laughs> all I need is my fire. This, this base is on fire. Yeah, because instead of grabbing extra abilities, I just buff my fire abilities. Confront the Tal's Sergeant. Feels like this is more of a contingent that's worthy more than just a sergeant. Everyone else is dead. That's fair. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why we had to talk for this. Oh, good thing either of us are safe. Yeah, exactly. We'll be fine. Better yet, why is he not here? 
You wanted to make sure you were dead first. Or they oh, were hello, dead first. friend. He doesn't even have a gun! Or a sword! He's just punching us! Yeah. Oh, these guys came at the perfect time. Oh yeah, you know they were just waiting outside to be like, oh, I'm <laughs> sure they're Ooh, fine. That looks dangerous. Lieutenant Oron reporting in, sir. Our company is on the ground and we have secured the perimeter. Tell me you cut off their retreat. We cut them off and cut them down. There were a lot of them, but they didn't break through. We'll finish up here. If you return to Dawn Base, Commander Triton will no doubt want to congratulate you in person. Blue. We did it. We completed the first zone, which is always the fucking longest. Yes. I think my f favorite run is the Republic one. Not for the next zone, but the one after it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe... I didn't get stuck for a second. And you say this squad, this group, managed to hold off the entire Tolls Commander Force? <laughs> Hello! It sounds incredible to be sure, but here, I'll let you talk directly. You all have the thanks of the entire base. We were just expressing our amazement. May I introduce Moth Brainor, overseer of the yeah, hot we, system, we, we among met. others. I heard you telling the Moth the good news. Yes. You saved us from giving a much bleaker report. If not for you, Dawn Base would have been lost. And Didn't we meet this guy in the dead. station? I don't uh, no, we met a uh, military you. officer. Would you say Commander Triton or Chiss Captain Eugis was more instrumental in the base's defense? Technically the Chiss Captain, but he's also not a member of the Imperial. Yeah, he's not an Imperial. Well, he's not. He's a, he's a Chiss Commander. Commander Triton's leadership has been forthright and direct. I expected such a response. Triton works diligently, if not always wisely. He is hereby promoted to Colonel, responsible for the welfare of Dawn Base until further notice. Yeah. That's a lot of responsibility, wouldn't you say, Commander? He has served us well under fire, and the soldiers respect him. That is paramount. And I will not disappoint you, Moth Brainor. Your recommendation has meant the world to me, but I must turn my attentions to my base immediately. And he still has the advisor. Yeah. It's still the matter of the pirates at Leth Outpost. Yes, of course. Captain Revar lost a facility of some sort, yes? If you're in the area, you might want to look into it. Take no. Pirates out there. No. And to be fair, the Chiss Captain doesn't seem like he's too interested in taking command. <laughs> no. To be fair, I wouldn't either. Are you kidding? The turnover rate? He's going to be dead by the end of the week. Exactly. Cold. Didn't join up to let the weather do me in. There we go. Leth outpost. Be well. Yep. Now I just had to sell a few things. <laughs> Yeah, it is the it is the next one that I like for uh, the Republic. I'm trying to remember what I. Uh, um, the one uh, it's the one with the ice pals where you have to work with the Imperials. You get the oh yeah, the yeah. It's not this one we're doing now. It's the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
the funny part where like the imps were like completely up front and just like, oh yes, we're not going to betray everyone. And it's like the Republic's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but pleasure working with you. Have a good day. To go, we just got orders. I'm sure you did. We are leaving now. Wait, what? Yeah, we, we, we did our job. They said to return back to base, and then in, then the ceasefire will end. Oh. <laughs> well, we, the Republic, say the ceasefire ends now. <laughs> well, it just always reminds me of the Orc and uh, Imperial story. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I was... Yep. I asked not to be disturbed. No matter. It is a rare sight to see a stranger here, let alone more than one. I trust you have come to help. No. Nope. I was busy calculating our chances in case the Republic attacks. It looks grim. If they bring a force of any real size, we're doomed. Control your own destiny. <laughs> Don't focus on possibilities. Focus on what we will do. The best force multiplier would be installing more automated guns, which we have. However, they eat power. What we really need is to tap into the nearby geothermal power substation, but it's been taken by the White Moor. Mm. We don't have the manpower to take on those pirates, and we've got a base that'll black out in any sustained fight with the Republic. I've never heard of Imperials backing down from a fight with pirates. They're Hawks, part of a group called the White Moor, two and a half meters of muscle each. The last time they captured our men, they made them dig their graves in the ice using only their hands. Then they buried them alive. I don't yeah. chance that happening again. So we haven't attacked their power substation. But you, your odds look good. A pirate is a pirate. I've dealt with their kind before. I won't lose sleep over dead hawks. Now, you'll need this energy coupling to divert power back to us. Take this and install it when you've eliminated all resistance. Of course. That power, our guns will be operational and give us a fighting chance. Go in strength. And of course, you don't want to take over the power supply station because you don't have the manpower to take it and hold it. So you just let them do it. Seems to be a common occurrence. Almost like the Empire didn't send a, send a substantial force here. Oh, I know, it's crazy. A crazy aspect, I know. We can probably hit south and hit mine first because mine's just getting a supply cap. Oh, fair. Because I don't think we have anything in this area that else that takes us south. I don't remember. Mm. I'm not sure. Only thing would be a possible class mission, but even then, I don't think they do. Not anytime soon, anyway. I think it's all north. Mm hmm. It's one of the things I like about this zone. It's like it's at least straightforward. Come on, come on, little guy, you can do it. There oh, yeah, go. this is, I mean, unstable, unstoppable horn cams. Oh, hello, personal holocon. I'm sorry, what? Huh? Nothing, don't worry. Hmm? Hmm? Having this little conversation by himself. Alright. Well, guess what? This our admiral is working with uh pirates. Who'd have thought? We're putting a tracker on this little one. I got the fighting cat again. Alright. Alright. Find the second cache. Just, I think it's in the next area. Yep, buried in nice. It's right by the Lush outpost. Oh, yeah, okay. Technically, we could TP back, but... We... Why would we want to do that when we can go sledding? Woo! Oh, my ankles. Yeah, I didn't lose a quarter of my health. All right, it's over here. Boop. All 
Heal me. It's in. Alrighty then. Oh, there it is. Yep. The fuck am I on? Oh my god. There we go, perfect. Don't mind me, Armored, I'm just holding you in my arms. Right, now find the third <laughs> cache. And it's back the way we came! Oh, wonderful. I was just holding you in my arms while you're doing that. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah. What the heck is that you're writing? I, I know, I had to take a look at it. Look at this guy. It's a Brinjak. I've never seen that mount. It might be one of the new ones. Yeah, I've got it from one of the loot boxes. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's see what's on the cartel market. Nothing new. Yeah. Pretty much the Thrawn uniform, the Imperial Commando armor set. Or loot boxes. Yep. Speaking of which, I have one more that I never opened last time. <laughs> nice of the pirates just to leave these completely unguarded. Oh, well, we're waiting for him to finish this mission. Yep, definitely not talking to somebody else now. Yep. Let's see what we get. All right. Nice and olive green eviscerating crystal. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. We I got two fucking crystals from that. Nice. Alright, now I get to... Yep, looks like I'm going over... Yeah, it looks like I gotta go over into the area that your story mission is, so we can probably hit the substation yeah. first. Well, I got a new, uh... I got a new mount. Uh oh. Add that to my list of favorites. That's right! Armored. I'm over here. I've got this. Look at this beauty. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I recognize that the moment you said it. I'm using hey, the force. Level up. You leveled up again? No, you did. Oh, I did. Oh, shit. I didn't get any new abilities. I think you get new abilities at uh, 47. Maybe. I'm sure the Hulk won't question just killing a couple of their guys. It was an Imperial raid. It's fine. Kill a few more to cover it up. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We should do that. Hey, Hulk! Hey, you say that's two meters of muscle. I don't friggin' believe it. I see those jowls jiggling. Yeah. It's a good thing we don't have to ever deal with them again in the future. Yep. Oh, man, their smell just is terrible. I wouldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine living with one. They're all pieces of shit. God damn it, armored. 
Yes, hello. <laughs> I was about to team TP. So what you're saying is I need to keep engaging things. <laughs> Motherfucker. Is, uh, Taurine is a terrible fucking healer. I don't know why I brought him with me. <laughs> well, because he's a melee character, so he just eats himself into melee. He is. And then he's too far away for a bunch of his healing abilities. We. Ah, of course, as is tradition. Yes. We did it. We're running on geothermal power now. We blew a circuit when it came on, but that was easily fixed. Did the Hulks prove difficult? What? Oh, I actually don't have an option. It's you. It proved clumsy and stupid. I could afford twice that number. It's odd none of you are injured, given their accuracy. But I won't refuse good news. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to oversee the deployment of our sensors and weapons. We've already begun the installation of our defense systems, and we're on schedule to be done before nightfall. What is it with the Imperials with those so, pencil stashes? The public frequencies are alive with chatter. They somehow knew we had a power surge just now, so I swept the bugs and I found this. An energy monitor. Do we have a spy or a traitor? Based on the Republic's internal communications, they had this installed long before we took over this outpost. What? I only looked because the Republic chatter was so obviously shocked by the influx of power. They won't attack here. They'll bomb the main geothermal reactor to black out the entire sector. That sounds incredibly dumb. Yeah. Does that make any sense? It's an Autolan community that keeps the mechanics running, and they won't put up much resistance. They're too used to knuckling under the white moor pirates there. But the Republic is sending snow troopers from Zero Squad. If I were a gambler like the oh. captain here, I'd bet on them. I'm sorry, did you just say the captain engages in gambling? <laughs> Do wait, what? If I were a gambler like the captain here, I'll bet on them. Oh no, I, I know, but it's just like, excuse you? Myself. It's central to our functioning and the white moors. They aren't allies, but if they're stirred up, it's trouble for everyone. But concentrate on Zero Squad. They're the best cold weather troopers the Republic has. Any defeat will humiliate them. Uh uh huh. No, don't worry, I have my proper mount. Nope. There we go, so do I. I have my proper cold weather mount. Yep. Alright. Uh, probably finish this zone up. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, we do have... Mine is in a different cave than the two of y'all's. Oh, yeah. And then we do yours. Yeah. I forget there's multiple caves in this area. Yep. Because most of them just go into the first one. Yes. Oh, we're going to be doing this game. Oh, worthy Jagath target. What the hell? Okay. Do you want to Do you want to praise the scorekeeper? I don't know, sure, why not? Oh, he does so he a just lot. murders us mercilessly brutally. Focus on me. We did it. We're we're, we're Trandoshans now. Yay. I 
really don't I don't remember the purpose of that. I think it might be because of the bounty hunter event going on. Is there? Uh, is it still going on? Uh... Yeah, greatest bounty. Did you survive that? Yes. All right. Yeah, I don't know why we went up there, so just go mm. around. Go here. Then. Ah, fuck, I messed it up. And for some reason, they're shooting at me now. Good. Okay, good. All is right in the world. <laughs> boop. And boop, I'm down. Proper MMO life. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just like riding a horse up a vertical cliff exactly. in Skyrim. And no, I have to take the most direct route. There is no option. <laughs> exactly. It's how you avoid the enemies. Armored, you're at the wrong one. Oh, there you go. No, I'm coming over. You're really close to the other one. This is just the path my thing took me. No. Oh. I didn't have an option. My mouth took me a different direction. It was horrible. Yeah, no I, I will be traumatized for a... Are we going to talk about how these things sound like Wookiees? No. Okay. I don't know what a Wookiee is. Good, good. My hubmaster wasn't a Wookiee. God, this is a big cave. Yes. I forgot this was one that was one of the big ones. You know the best part about this? Mm. None of this is in an instance, so... When we're yep. heading back out, we're going to have to fight through all of this again. Yes. But we can at least jump down here. Make that a little faster. Mm -hmm. and there's the biggest, one of the biggest phase uh, portals that you'll ever see. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go! Oh look, there's a friendly person. <laughs> Hello, friend. Yeah. Oh god! You're not friendly! How is there just a random just scout in here? I don't know. He's a really good scout, apparently. Gotcha. Apparently he's really good at it. We're really bad. Oh, here's the rest of the chiss. Chui atak ox masa kipuna. Blast you! Stop! Look at me and stop. Here I hold the wind That's right. Keep looking here. I'll keep talking. And you keep looking. 
Sir, if you're going to do anything, do it now. What? What was the point of any of that? We're right back to just shooting at them. Well, it's to distract them because they were in a better position and now they're not. Is I think what it's supposed to be. Gives you a chance to act. Press an advantage. Right -hand side. I'm fine. Check on the others. Sir, I suppose you want an explanation. What are you, Ensign? Jedi? Sith? What I did back there, it was a force trick, sir. I'm just powerful enough to get into trouble. No lightning, no seeing the future, I never trained. If the Sith knew, they'd have me killed. That's why I left Imperial service for the Chiss Ascendancy. For now, we have a job to do. We can deal with the rest another time. Yes, sir. Getting a call from Zero Station. They finished analyzing the pirate data. When you max out charisma instead of stealth. Your raid was successful. <laughs> it seems Admiral Davos has been trying to arrange safe passage through pirate territory to the Starship Graveyard. The pirates have agreed to meet today. Giving away all that heavy equipment must have paid off. The meet is in the primary marauder base, heavily fortified. Attack head on and the attendees slip away. However, a cave system runs under the base. Moves softer than a shadow. And you could tap the cave wall. You're sending him to the bone pits. The caves are inhabited by <laughs> animal life and resemble a slaughterhouse. But it's the perfect place from which to observe the meeting. Sounds dangerous, but I'm willing to take a risk. Once you're in place, you can use a laser drill and micro cord camera to tap the wall. My team will be in touch from Zero Station. Good luck to you. We need to move out, but be careful in the monster's den. Wow, she's actually nice. It's weird. It's for an Imperial, it's weird. It's weird, I don't like it. Especially considering the other characters you have. <laughs> yes. I have a bug, I have a bug brain. I an have anarchist. a sociopathic serial killer. Yeah. And then I have an Imperial agent. That isn't myself. <laughs> what do you mean, he's just a kind old man? You're right, you know what, you're right. Well, I don't know why I insulted him like that. Here, would you like to try this tea that he gave me? <laughs> no, 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 that's for you. Oh, you know, I'll just pour it down the sink. Oh my god, oh, I don't know what, uh, it'd be weird with the sink. This must be a shitty sink, because it just melted away from some regular tea. <laughs> yeah, it's not like he he blackmailed you, or he basically has you in a mutually assured destruction. Yeah, pretty much. Definitely not. No, de definitely not. Well, you know the fun part is in the in the post game it lets you skip a really annoying set of missions. <laughs> oh him. god, that's right. His was really annoying. And the other one you can skip is if you're a Sith warrior. I thought uh what is it? The Inquisitor one, your apprentice was really annoying. Uh Zalek. Yeah, Zalek has you run around Dillum. Yep, that but was the, that one was annoying. The warrior one makes you do PvP. Does it? Yeah. He wants you to it's it's Which the same as the droid. It's for? it's the commander boy you get on uh Oh Yeah. I think it's Taurus. Yes. You do get him on Taurus. Pierce, that's his name. Yeah, and Pierce, just like the droid for the commando, makes you do a bunch of PvP to unlock him. Yep. Who oh, nice, I got it again. Uh, I'm trying to think what... There's not really any... Uh, well, there are other annoying ones, but norm not as many annoying as Pierce and the kindly old monster one you get for him, because... 
literally your guy you can only get during the what do you call it the yeah, rat goal the rat goals which used to be a lot rarer to get than now but then there was uh I mean there's the duty you have to kill for the pirates who's a constant uh, companion Blizz, I remember had you running around Hoth Yes. That he did. But it's good to know that if anything ever happens, he's gonna come back here and just keep working with the White Maw. Yep. It's good to know he's consistent. Yep. I'm trying to think. Is there only one major story that's tied to the, the Bounty Hunter companions? I think it's just the one that has Vet in it. And my favorite companion. I think. No, Torian. Oh, right, you're right, you're right, you're right, Torian. Because Lamandos. Yep. And yours is only your, uh, is the Anarchist and yes. Temple. Do you get Temple from. The chess mission. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Warrior, you get fat. You also get Jace, uh, sub, uh, kind of, if you... Jace, I don't think, was part of the main story. If she's light side. Is she? Her. If you, in light side, you get her when you deal with the, uh, Jedi colony. I don't remember that. So, but, uh, yeah, so you... Did you run her dark side? No, I think I ran her light side, but I don't know if I ever ran my any of my warriors through that. Yeah, it's pretty recent. It's after everything. It's like uh, when you're back w working with the Empire, you deal with the colony. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's, yeah. Uh, she, you find her and she's like, please don't kill this guy. And you're like, okay. Or go fuck yourself. Okay. Uh, Uh, ch ch then agent. Agent is just a fuck you. I don't. What special companions do you get from that? I don't think you get any. Scorpio and Kaleo, though technically, well, I'd be well, definitely yours. not somebody that we definitely haven't met yet. Well, I'm I'm just talking Inquisitor. Sorry. Oh, Inquisitor. Sorry, I thought you said agent. No, I was talking agent. Uh, for a bit. But I know agent. Agent had a few good ones. Agent has three then. Okay. But, because Inquisitor, uh, the pirate is a pirate, so you get him off a side mission. Same with your apprentice. Mm -hmm. Uh, same with... Chem. I don't even think you get... I don't, remember, I don't remember. I remember you didn't get Chem. You got another one. Yeah. Exactly. But I think you eventually could have gotten Chem. Yes, because there was the joke for the Chem romance. <laughs> Uh, obviously your apprentice is off a side mission as well. Yes. Yeah, I don't think Maybe. you get any major characters off of that. I'm trying to remember. I'm just trying to remember all the Inquisitor companions. There's Kaval and Drid Oh, what is it? And Dredikos, Your apprentice. Uh, the other apprentice. Yeah. One more that I'm forgetting. Well, that's how memorable you know they are. Uh... Yeah, there's the the Deshad, the Takruda, the Kalish, the human. I remember the Kalish, the uh, Zalik was your last one. Yeah. Yeah, they're not tied to any major missions from what I remember. Yeah, I genuinely don't remember the last one. Though the greatest hero is T7. T7's your greatest companion. Okay, so what is this? Find zero team leader? Yep, he's down here. Yeah. He's bullying uh, the Ordolans. 
What? The Republic secretly being the bullies and the bad guys? Nah, no, that doesn't sound right. You're right. Boop. Oh, you know who the last character is? Who's Ooh. also from a side mission? The fucking archaeologist you get on this planet. That's right! He is on this planet. And he's also another Talos. side mission. Yeah. So literally, the Inquisitor's all side missions. Step away from the console with your hands on your head. I'm not going anywhere, Skinny. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. I said, step away from the console with your hands on your head. Hey, you. Hello? Intruders! I've got intruders in the shaft room! You know shit, Sherlock! The, the gunfire, the death... The screams. The, yeah. the screams of people being burnt alive. Why can't I move? Oh, there we go. I can move again. Boop. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, yeah, like you could. They're crusading. <laughs> it's obvious I'm not here for your benefit. Why aren't you running? It's fair. I mean, I mean, they have automated. See, I guns. genuinely don't see any f downside to this one. Expertise yeah. and the Empire will provide protection. <laughs> Our team takes a competitive wage with cheap overtime. Ah, they don't have unions. It took a while to get here. Next patch. So, yeah, return to Captain Reaver after we do yours. Yep, and that should be good for us then. Yep, I'll be able to go get grab some breakfast. Oh god, it's already 9:30. Yep, that's why I said we'll be done after this. We'll turn in the missions next time. Yep. You make it sound like that's still not like half an hour. I know, but I still got some prep that I got to do. No, hey, you don't. It's fun. I already know it, like, journal idea. It's more of just, like, fleshing out notes. Armored, you guys made it so I could never prep properly. Like, I was like, I had a general outline I wanted to do. And then I was hey, like, I just went with the flow. I know. You know the boss you fought in our campaign? Uh, which, which one? Calador. Yes. He was meant to be the second boss. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, well, before you got there, uh, they had to deal with, like, with the necromancer that you met when everything went to shit a few times. Yeah. And then just during a mission, they were like, oh, we found something out. I left the clue there just to make them suspicious. Yeah. And they went, we're going full tilt. And I was like, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Like, yeah, the necromancer that we kind of ended on. Yeah. Was I'm... supposed to be the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sad we didn't finish that. I had some fun stuff planned for that. What the hell? Getting a call? Yeah, I'm getting a phone call over so be... Alright. Armor's gonna be right back. Uh, he has to go to work now, obviously. Uh, the 12 hour shift wasn't long enough. He needs another 12 hour shift. Welcome back. I was just telling everyone how you now have another 12 hour shift to do. No, even if I get. No, it's not that. It's. Somebody wants to know what my schedule is for next week. Oh. It's not work related. Uh, for the 40k or something else? No, family. Well, technically both, because I've got 40k starting up. Nice. Uh, the league starting up again on oh, Thursday. Boy, we're just salvagers. Don't want no trouble. We ain't getting paid to catch blaster fire. Who's calling the shots here? I'm looking for Slam Streaver. Blizz sent me. Blizz? <laughs> You're pulling my leg. Really? I'm glad to hear the little guy's okay. Never sat right with me, what boss done to him. Blizz said you could help me find some equipment. I'm just an old part picker. But I reckon if Blizz sent you to me, he knew I could do you some sort of good. I'll do whatever I can to help. What did Blizz send you for? I need a couple of your heat resistors and a three-phase field frequency tuner from Blizz's stash. Well, heat resistor's no problem. That phase tuner could be another story. Foreman divvied up most of Blizz's stuff between the salvage crews, but I'll have a look. You're in luck. Everything you asked for is here. What's left of Blizz's stuff, too. Uh, I appreciate it if you could get that back to him. And tell him I'm sorry, would I, you? I don't actually care. Give it to me. Do. Thanks. That means a lot to me. So, uh... Oh, hold, hold on. We, 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 gotta, we gotta establish something real quick. We arrived to somewhere, to said, to told a man that we needed th multiple yeah, different items, and... and and he actually had them all. <laughs> I know. We we didn't we didn't have to go around the area and kill like ten guys to pick up each piece. Let's not waste any more time. I'll cover the rear. Come on, boys. We are getting out of here. There you go. There's the annoying part of the mission. We let him out. Uh, but so uh, for work. Uh, for our upscaling, our team has a few 40k nerds, including our, mm. our, our basically our, our boss, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. But uh, he, Ooh. no, there they go. There's more of them. They just took forever to spawn. But basically, I had a picture of the emperor as my zoom background, and one day I just pop in, and one of the other guys is just Horus. Just fucking sitting there as a zoom background. <laughs> sure. It was hilarious. Alright. Is that all? Is that... Okay, there we go. Thanks for sticking your neck out for us. We Did we, though? Made it. I just killed some droids. Alright. You can owe me one. Show me your gratitude some other time. I got a cyborg to kill. Be careful. That fella's back with more tech than an Arshada chop shop. And has about as many screws loose. <laughs> take care of Blizz for me, yeah? Okay, I like that. But, uh... Yeah, so he's... When he runs Loyalist, he runs Dark Angels. Guess what he runs when he runs uh, Heretic? Or what color or styling his army is? Alpha Legion? You got it. Well, is it actually Alpha yeah. Legion? The 1st and the 20th. <laughs> yep. What is it? I got Nart Night Lords. Yeah. Technically, I've got a multitude of different ones. I've got some like Alpha Legion. I've got Black Legion. Yeah, he I've painted his Lord. boys all as Alpha Legion. 
It's a beautiful, it's a good color. The teal, it's a metallic teal. It's yeah. nice. Also very easy. In very the easy for the PvP do. for uh, Space Marine 2, I have, it's all Alpha Legion. <laughs> Except for the ones that don't make sense. I'm only here for you, Aeor. Okay, freak show. Time to put you out of your misery. He is crazy. He's gonna give the droids life again. All right. All right. All right. You'll live. All right. Let's TP back and end it. I have to. I'm gonna have to go back to the main base. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you gotta go talk to Blizz. Yes, I'll head to Dorn. Uh, but we will end it here, of course, so Armin can get ready for his. See Ishian? Where nothing crazy will happen. It's just going to be no, a normal, I'm sure. normal lore session. Exposition yeah, again. Yep, yeah, yeah, totally. Totally, definitely not on the verge of something. No, right. I definitely not. Real fast, Starburn, one or two? Two. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> God, killed us all. Do I make it? I do not make it. I do not fucking make that. <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> Somebody better pick up that phone because I called it. If you need to know, Armored, it was straight up at the very bottom. It was straight up just coming to the bottom? Yeah, it was well. at the very bottom, and I was like, oh. Oh. That's not good. Oh, oh that tickles me. It was literally like, it literally as I landed, it just started going up. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can go grab some breakfast. Yep, you get going. Alright, with that... You see anything you like? Just let me know. Let's do our little... Come back anytime. Codex entry. And we shall end it. What should we do the codex entry on? There he is. Our target, Renegade of Voss, Serpent of the Void, Sarlacc in Scales, Hunter of Worlds. There are many names for the monster that stalks the farthest reaches of space. Uh, of space. Regent of Voss is merely the name given in his native tongue. A myth of many, by many standards, the story of fleets of Voss is uh, shattered and the colonies he's obliterated are numerous and pale imitations of the actual horrors he's inflicted in the name of his insatiable goddess. This fortress enough to escape the Transocean Pirate Lord can attest that Voss is likely to be to vent out as much harm to himself as to his prey. He pursues his foes with reckless disregard for his own survival. To Voss, the jagged myth, the points scored for killing is never so rich as when it's stolen from the brink of death. Well, with that, we're going to go relax at the uh, cantina and enjoy ourselves. Bye for now.